Uh, just wanted to give you a little update as promised. Uh, it is now uh, day seven since the onset of my symptoms. Uh, as promised, I'm gonna let you know how it went with my wife and my children that they went ahead and they got uh, tested. Uh, before that, I just wanna give you a little update on uh, my condition. Uh, as I, when I told you last time it was my birthday, um, my wife uh, graciously made me a birthday cake uh, that I uh, loved. I, I ate one slice of the cake. I, it was a Dominican cake with uh, guava, my favorite. Um, of course, I wanted a second slice because it was that good. When I went to go eat the second slice, something happened. I couldn't taste it. I, uh, something was different about it. it. It completely lost its flavor. So, um, as I tried to eat other things, I realized it, it was me. So, I got that famous thing that happens where you lose your sense of smell and um, your sense of taste. So, I, I want to get a little bit into that because I heard about it. And, and uh, until you experience it, you really don't know what it is. Um, the best I could describe it, it's like when a doctor tells you when they're doing a procedure and they give you a local anesthetic. Uh, you're going to feel pressure, but you're not going to feel pain. It means nothing to you until you're feeling it. That sensation of, of feeling that pressure but not feeling the pain, it's, it's quite unique. Uh, same thing with, with the taste thing. So, so I did a little research, and it's not actually your taste that you lose. Taste is the ability to, to, to sense if something is salty or sweet, uh, spicy, uh, that type of thing. And, and I can sense that. I can sense if something is sweet or I can sense the saltiness of it. What I lose is, is more, uh, more appropriately named the flavor. I can't sense a flavor. I can't actually, uh, what we consider to be taste, I, I can't taste it. I can't savor what, 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 what that uh, feels like. So that's why I say it's kind of like feeling the pressure but not the pain. I, I can sense that something is spicy. I, I just can't taste it or, or in, in my sense or, or smell. I can't smell anything. Like I, I, try, I put cologne, right, sprayed it right as close to me as possible. Can't smell a single thing. So uh, from what I've heard, this is quite common in, in uh, COVID-19. A lot of people, it's their first symptom. Me, I got it day five or six. Uh, so it's, it's uh, and, and supposedly it lasts a couple of weeks. So uh, here I go with that experience. Uh, so filling you in a little bit about my wife and my children. And they went ahead and got tested. Uh, my wife, uh, as I suspected, is positive as well. But my three children are negative. That's going to make for some interesting family dynamic here. Uh, I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Obviously, I'm going to continue doing it. My wife at this point, we're going to be uh, wearing our mask around our children, making sure we disinfect everything we touch and everywhere we go. Uh, I'm going to try to... Um, to set areas of the house where my wife and I are going to be the only ones to go there. Obviously, that's going to be our room and our bathroom. Uh, we try to to stay outside, kind of like the way I'm doing right now, without my mask. But as soon as I'm inside, I am I am wearing my mask. I continue to have um, uh, kind of sinus pressure. I'm starting to, to sneeze a little bit. Uh, no coughing, but but uh, those odd, almost allergy-like symptoms. I don't know 100% if it's the COVID or if I'm just starting to get an allergy uh, on top of it, an opportunistic uh, allergy or something like that. But nevertheless, it's it's something that I'm I'm feeling now, kind of a runny nose, that that type of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 working on uh, we're making sure we protect the children as much as possible. Uh, putting the kids up somewhere else would be awesome, but in this environment, it's it's not, it, it's just not going to be possible. One, we don't know if the places we would send them to, if the people there are asymptomatically positive. Um, the people might not know if my children were negative when they tested and they caught it in the moments afterward. So it, it, it's a risk that's just for everybody. So we're just going to have to continue to be careful. Uh, make sure we try to keep the corona from them and uh, and just do what we got to do. Uh, my wife's symptoms are, you know, respiratory. She feels a little bit of a tight chest, but uh, uh, mild nevertheless compared to many other people as well. So, um, again, asking for your prayers. Thank you for your for the continued prayers. 
uh, making sure that we stay as mild as possible, get over this, and uh, I can go back to work uh, helping other people, and uh, my wife can get back to her norm as well. So thank you, everybody. Uh, this is day number seven.